Hey, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for coming back again today. Hope you had a good weekend. It was beautiful. We had some luscious rain, too. So, wherever you are, hope you are enjoying just where you are. Our reading for today is from 1 John. Uh, remember, Martin Luther described 1 John as such a beautiful description, lovely description of Christ. He thought the words were lovely and soft. So, for us today, about love. 1 John chapter 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are, children of God. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. All that is has not been revealed yet. There's hope for all of us, for change, for new directions, for excitement, for life in Christ. That is the type of love that Christ has for us, for you and for me, is a hope-filled love. One that can see us into the future. Today is the year anniversary of the tragedy of George Floyd. And as sad as that is, and we're still grieving with it, a hope-filled love of Christ is that we all will continue to pray and work for a more just society, a law, more just law enforcement, and that we all will be seen as equals, just as we are in God's eyes. The hope is full of future. Take good care. The hope is, future is full of hope. Take good care and live in that hopeful expectation of Jesus Christ's love and forgiveness, wanting the best for you each and every day. See you tomorrow.